morning. It is Monday, the 22nd. Um, I want to do a reading on this Yahoo, this Fruit Loop that's out here. Scott McKay, Patriot Street Fighter. And they have this woman there, Searston Harris. And uh, they're talking and just, I mean, Fruit Loop ridiculous things, conspiracy theories. Oh, Trump was, they attempted to assassinate him 50 times. <laughs> yeah, sure. They were, they killed, you know, it was the CIA that killed uh, JFK and JFK was so mangled that they couldn't use his body in the coffin so they killed this they killed a police officer that looked like him so they could put him in the coffin because it's like, God, these people, absolute fruit loops. So what is with this guy? What is with this, what can you tell me about this guy? This, uh, what is his name again? Scott McKay, the great, great patriotic street fighter. Oh, God. You know, you just wonder, do these people actually believe this crap that they're putting out? I mean, everything under the sun, chemtrails and all of this. First card out is the Empress. My card for America are value systems. Um, what we usually hold dear as America, she kind of reminds me always of the Statue of Liberty, you know, for, for what we have, our, our values. And uh, <laughs> challenges, the unknown. <clears throat> The hidden things, you know, his his uh, all of his uh, nefarious drama that he's got going on. You know, I'm saving America. I'm going to save America from these nefarious satanic, you know, <clears throat> cabal that's out there. <clears throat> yeah, conscious thoughts. Not a surprise. I'm out there fighting. I'm going to club them with this information, um, taking action, you know, all of that. Subconscious thoughts. He's going to shift things. He's going to magically change things. Yeah. If I keep putting this out here enough, people will believe it. Okay? In the past, we have, and this is Trump, in the past, <clears throat> recent past there was Trump you know he's all in on Trump of course short term he's going to try to move things forward um, so so far not a surprise what we have with this guy um, all about conspiracy theories he's going to club people over the head with this uh, again trying to uh, make it fly, magically change people's ideas about things. How he sees himself. Oh, the great investigator. He is the great investigator and he is going to bring these things to light. Energy surround him. He is just carrying such a burden, okay? I'm absolutely carrying a burden um, with it. Uh, okay, hopes and fears. He's hoping he can move this forward, that he's got the opportunity to continue to put this out. Uh, it's going slowly, okay, but he's doing it step by step. Outcome, temperance. Okay, people are, you know, not everybody is going to buy into this, okay? Uh, he wishes they would, okay? Above it, we have, um, 
you know, he thinks he's in this position where he's giving out this knowledge to people bit by bit. Okay, foundation is again something he is working on sharing and it, this could be lucrative for him in some manner as well. Um, but yeah, nothing there of truth, you know, but he's going to continue to put this nonsense out there. And, you know, again, these people feel in a position of superiority. I have got this hidden knowledge, which you don't have, which I am going to graciously impart to you because I know all the hidden things that are going on in America that you don't know, okay? And I'm going to come beat you over the head with it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's, it's cooler than, than what he thought. Um, you know, these things are not in a balanced way, but uh, he's going to continue to put that out there. So, okay, what is about the temperance? Yeah, he just, again, um, out there wanting to put out this spin. Uh, that he's got going with it. So let's do the reading also, as long as we're doing on the woman that he's talking with, it's all up on this, this Searston, Searston Harris. So what can you tell me about this other Fruit Loop Searston Harris? It's just amazing people go down these rabbit holes of just you know, craziness. I feel like I'm watching Alice in Wonderland's Mad Hatter Tea Party. And they're all drinking absinthe. <laughs> they're all having absinthe. They've been having magic mushrooms or something or talking to the hookah smoking. <laughs> yeah, and and it's not um and and it's not marijuana. I think they they've got something even stronger in that. Okay, whatever the heck they're smoking. Hashish. <laughs> I don't know. They're they're just off. Anyway, so the first card out for her, she's a diehard repugly ugly. Now, why does this not surprise me? And she could be some money behind this. She could have money. The challenge is working together to put this, you know, dark, nefarious nonsense out there. Um, again, not a surprise um, with that. Conscious thoughts are about America, okay? She's going to help spread the word. Subconscious thoughts, yeah, there it is, going to help share the word. She's out there right in there, you know, working together with them trying to get this information out there. In the past, you know, she they, they've got their little community, okay? And all feel so close sharing this stuff together. You know, it gives them something to do. It gives them a bond. They feel connected. They're all part of this secret society that's got this information. Short term, again, yeah, going to make it seem like she's got some important information that she is going to share. I have got this truth that you don't know, and I'm going to continue to put it out there. How she sees herself, yeah, she is a warrior. She is a warrior for the U.S., Yes, they're so special. 
energy surrounding it, she sees this as, you know, okay, we're sharing, but I take some lumps and bumps along the way. Um, who knows if they were part of the riot or not? Um, I don't know if it goes that far, but uh, she does get some blowback apparently um, on occasion. Okay, the uh, hopes and fears, death. Um, now that could be anything from just wanting to put an end to, to the stuff that they think is happening. It could be that she fears reprisals. It could be that they fear the government is giving reprisals to shut them down. So the death card could be just about anything. We'll see if we get a, uh, if I get another uh, information on that. Going forward, yeah, well, I think that this is a clarification. It was about um, Trump, Trump. Jeez. Now they were saying 50 assassinations on Trump, but again, she's a repugly ugly, and that, uh, that, that it was all a hoax. You know, they're, they're going up on all that stuff, that it was a hoax uh, about the Russia thing and all of that drama. So I think the death card uh, has a thing that, that it's all a plot. It's all an evil plot against Trump. They're all lying about him. Going forward, uh, this, she's going to continue out there. Above it, we have the sword, and uh, below it, we have the, the wand. So she's just going to keep beating people over the head with this crap. Above it, yeah, they're one happy family. Um, foundation of it. Yeah, stuff is happening that they don't like, so they are all up on these conspiracy theories and drama. Um, just, yeah, the, just that psychological thing that uh, it's, it's not the way we want it. So, uh, you know, they're into these conspiracy theories. Um, and we're going to continue to beat people over the head with this. But to, to sit there and think that JFK was shot and his body was so mangled, his head, they couldn't put it together again. So, you know, now you could see when he got shot that his face was fine, it was intact, it was nonsense, you know, to say, well, he was so mangled that they found a policeman that looked like him and they killed the policeman and so they could put him in the coffin to make it seem like it was JFK. And what was their other conspiracy things? Um, oh, McCain was being blackmailed and uh, Barack Obama, they have his real information that he's not, you know, a citizen here. And I mean, just <clears throat> every bizarre nonsense that one can fantasize about, uh, just the craziness. Yeah, so what I get again oh, for him, shedding light on this work they're doing behind the scenes, the drama about the U.S., about the U.S. that they're juggling. You know, they keep juggling all this nonsense, wanting to put it out there because of their little, their fragile egos, and they want to put it out there because they feel unsafe, unsecure, um, justice, they think that they are imparting some sort of justice, okay? And they've got a full cup of stuff that they are gonna share. Yes, they, they're, um, they're in it together and I think that it could also be about a conspiracy with the government, okay? A government conspiracy 
people have, yes. And these people are just grasping at straws, at fantasy things that they are um, putting up there. I mean, just every imagination you can come up with about the government they love to do, and that's what they're spinning and juggling. Everything they can, can do, every theory about um, these interactions about, uh, you know, this government cabal, and uh, in the center of it, they're going to bring justice. Yeah, craziness. <laughs> Look at just craziness. So on that note, we'll leave a Scott McKay, this patriot street fighter. <laughs> Yeah, the Fruit Loops um, will leave them to their own devices of craziness and just mental spin and uh, drama. I, I just, what, how do these people get into this? I'm going to ask that, see if I can pull some cards and just see if we get something. How do these people get into this? You know, how are they, how are they getting into this? Okay, so we have the light, we have a person of power that's just blocked, it doesn't see, okay? So they have these people out there that are ap that are persuasive, and I think it also that they think that they are uh, going to be people of power. Um, you know that they are going to save America, okay? That they are going to um, be out there arbiters of truth. But really, they're blocked, and they're not hearing. They're not seeing. Um, they're not seeing truth. Okay, they're they're just absolutely. Uh, okay, they're not, they're not seeing. They're not hearing. They're not participating in a correct way. They just. Uh, blinded by their own illusions of uh, strength and power and uh, all of these things, okay? Um, so I think it is that they want to be important. They want to have something that other people don't have. Um, this secret knowledge, and so that makes them somehow special and powerful, okay? So that's what I'm getting. They've listened to somebody that's influential. Um, they've closed their eyes to the truth, to, they don't wanna take any of it in, um, and they want to believe the fallacy uh, because it makes them feel special and important and, you know, that we are, are just such patriots for the U.S. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> it's for entertainment purposes only. So much love and light, and I'll see you on.